and says it fits the exhibit's theme. The museum wants its $84,000 back or they'll see the artist in court. Well? Weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Rob Elvington and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. A little abstract view here from our Muscle Shoals Sky Cam. You'll notice a few little rain shafts moving through right now. So a couple spotty showers in the shoals right now. These are kind of popping up. They rain for five, ten minutes and then they dissipate, but enough to wet the ground and even maybe turn on the windshield wipers. These are slowly drifting off to the northwest right now. One just moving past Russellville, maybe bringing a few drops but all these again moving off to the northwest through parts of Franklin and Colbert County. We'll zoom in a little bit closer again. That one just passing right over top of Highway 43, right at the intersection of Highway 24. If we zoom in a little bit closer, it looks like Rock Creek just about to see some of this light to moderate rainfall with that other one right behind it. So a little bit of rainfall here through the next 20 to 30 minutes. But once we lose the heat of this afternoon, a lot of this is going to dissipate. And that's pretty much what we're tracking. You'll notice as you get towards I-65 and off to the east, we are dry and expecting similar conditions again for your Thursday and Friday, so most staying dry to finish off the work week. Bust up forecast for tomorrow morning, patchy fog, especially in some of those river valleys, but we're going to see mostly dry conditions other than a stray shower or two with similar conditions into your Thursday afternoon. Back up to the mid 80s, a few spots may even make it up to the upper 80s, and with that humidity, it's going to feel more like 90. Now we will see better rain chances arriving by this weekend into early next work week. If you look at the map, these uh, blues that are showing up, that's closer to an inch of rainfall, but that's mostly for the second half of the seven day period. A look at what we're expecting through the next three days. You'll notice a 20% chance for tomorrow, 10% chance for Friday. So it looks like high school football fine for both Thursday and Friday evening and still a 10% chance on Saturday. It's Sunday into Monday when we'll see the widespread rain moving back in. Future radar through tonight into the overnight hours. Some passing clouds, but a few stray showers off to the west of I-65. And a lot of that activity dissipates and then we're pretty much done with the rain all the way through your Thursday afternoon and evening. By Friday morning and into Friday afternoon, just a spotty shower or two. Looks like Friday night football, no major issues. This is the weekend. Saturday afternoon, most of the rain staying off to our west and northwest. But by Sunday, by the afternoon hours, that's when the widespread rain moves in. Some of this could be in the form of thunderstorms, nothing strong or severe. And that'll slowly move off to the southeast. But the front's going to be close enough on Monday that we could see another round of pop-up showers into your Monday afternoon. But should be further off to the southeast in time for dry conditions by Tuesday. There's a look at Hurricane Sam, still a Category 4 hurricane, still expected to move out to sea. And just in the last couple of hours, we now have Tropical Storm Victor. So we are getting close to the end of the uh, name list. And of course, we have a new naming list this year. We're not going to use the Greek alphabet. But you'll notice that this storm is also going to be what we call a fish storm. It's going to recurve out to sea. So some great news, but we'll continue to follow the tropics closely. High staying in the mid 80s all the way through Saturday afternoon. Feels more like 90 at times with the humidity. And then we're back down into the 70s by Monday and Tuesday with those better rain chances.